Hi everybody, my name is Brady and I'm a 19th century American historian and we are back with another Saturday video and a lot of these have the common theme of morality, philosophy, a little bit of psychology. It's just something that I'm into right now and I'm very excited about dabbling into. So I'm going to be doing more of these little morality tests. I found another website. It's called Moral Sense Test and I would love to participate. It sounds like a good time. So uh, be part of our research, participate in one of the most popular studies shown below, or click to view the full list. I guess I'll just start with some of the most popular ones. Um, ooh, do I want to do it beginning to end, or do I want to do the one that is, uh, that is most, most enticing right now? Because uh, I want to know if I have psychopathic traits. I think that one might be fun. Um, but then there's judge, morality, empathy, disgust. Hmm. Okay, I, I'm gonna do the first one. We're, we're gonna save am I a psycho for a later time, I think. Uh, we're gonna do the disgust test. I think that should be fun. Uh, there, there's a lot to go on here. Okay. How old am I? Okay. I am 24 at the time of this recording. I am a male, and it wants to know my education. Okay, I have a four-year college degree. Okay, uh, where would you place yourself on this ladder? Um, oh, sorry, the ladder. Uh, think of a ladder that's representing where people stand in the United States. At the top of the ladder are people who have the most money. Oh, this is just... Uh, my financial situation. Um, I personally don't have a lot of money, but I've got like a, a decent safety net. Uh, like if anything ever went bad, my parents have plenty of money to help support me and do whatever. Uh, so I would say that puts me uh, well above uh, middle. I, I, you know, I think they are considered like upper middle. So I'll put myself at like a six because I'm kind of dragged down by like my own like not having money thing. Uh, what religion do you practice? I am not religious personally. Um, how religious are you? Not religious. Um, when it comes to social issues, how would you describe yourself, your political attitude? Okay, it says specifically social issues i consider myself uh probably here like almost all the way to the very liberal um i don't know i feel like i might be this one but i'm going to leave the i'm gonna leave a little room to the left of me i'm really hands off on social issues um so i'm, I'm gonna say here uh, when it comes to economic issues, how would you describe your political attitude? That I'm glad that they separated these two. I'm not very sure. I think I'm... So here's the middle. I think I'm like... So this is like commie. And this is like... Like super duper libertarian, like... The kinds of libertarian that conservatives typically are like, yeah, they might go a little too far. So I guess I would fall right here. I don't think I'm all that on. I have some economic issues where I want to be hands off and I have some where I want to be hands on. I think I was going to put myself a little further to the left, but I think that's a product of the time we live in. I, I'm... I think I'm totally down with a more active government because we are a little bit more dependent on them right now, given the pandemic. How many children do you have? Zero? Uh, please indicate formal education in psychology. Um, I've taken one or two courses. Um, I took one, I, I think I've taken like three technically. Uh, 
if you include my, I started uh, doing social science stuff a little bit early in high school. I got put in some senior classes when I was a sophomore, which it was an accident, but I let it go. Uh, please indicate any formal education in philosophy. Uh, very, very little or none. I've not actually taken philosophy courses, though, of course, some philosophy comes up in studying history. Are you a native speaker of English? Yes. Uh, if no, indicate no. Uh, what country do you live in? I am from the us. The, the us land. Just going to have to wait till we get to the bottom. Do do ba do ba do. There we go. United States. And uh, if you live in the United States, choose your state. And otherwise, okay. I'm from the Rye. And all right. So I just put in my zip code and did like a a, a consent form thing, which uh, that was fun. So I'm excited about this. This should be a whole lot of fun. Let's get it started. Uh, before you begin, we would like to provide you with some basic information about the test. This test consists of 27 statements. You will read each statement and then indicate how you how much you agree uh, with the statement or how true it is to you. Um, there will be a response scale at the bottom of the screen. Move the slider. Uh, okay, that, that makes sense. There are no right or wrong answers, blah, blah, blah. Let's do this. I'm excited. It would bother me to sleep in a nice hotel room if I knew the man a man had died of a heart attack in the room the night before um I don't think I would be too bothered by that unless I had some sort of indication that like there was some heart attack causing disease going around and then maybe I'd be a little bit concerned but I don't think that would phase me as, as long as I have a decent indication that the room's being cleaned. I, I'm not super superstitious or anything, so that element wouldn't really come to play. Um, yeah. I would rather eat a piece of fruit than a piece of than a piece of paper. Um, yeah, uh, fruit is food. Um, I I I don't I don't understand the dilemma there, but okay. I don't know if I could eat papers. I don't know if it would go down for me. Uh, I probably would not go to my favorite restaurant if I found out the cook had a cold. Yeah, yeah, probably. Uh, I, I don't, yeah. If I knew he had a cold, then yeah. <laughs> or she. Or whatever. Uh, it would not upset me at all to watch a person with a glass eye take the eye out of the socket okay um i'm not very good with eyes i see people who do they they can do the little things where they like touch their eyes and whatever and that might weird me out a little bit i don't think the glass eye thing would bug me nearly as much i think that's a little bit different the the act of like touching a a, a physical eye is a little bit different if i know it's a glass eye if i don't know it's a glass eye and i see somebody reaching into their socket i might be a little weirded out by it but i think i'd be neutral on this one it would bother me tremendously to touch a dead body um huh that's interesting i don't think i'd want to touch it i wouldn't mind like observing like a coroner or something just for like, like educational purposes uh but i i don't think i'd want to touch it uh but I think if I were, like, participating in some sort of an educational thing and I had to touch it, I could. So I think I'd be leaning towards uh, not wanting to touch it, but I'd have, like, a, a, some caveats. Like, if I, maybe I'd feel comfortable touching it in, like, in educational context. I have somebody guiding me through it and I don't feel like I'm going to do something bad. Uh, I don't know. If I see someone vomit, it makes me sick to my stomach. Um, no, I don't think so. It's not the sight, it's the smell. The smell of vomit does that. Uh, the, the sight isn't as bad. Um, I think I'll put that as uh, it does not describe me well, kind of like in the middle of not describing me well in neutral. 
it might depend. Some vomit is different than others. Some is more disgusting than others. Not all vomit is created equal. It bothers me to hear somebody clear a throat full of mucus. I am that person. I have terrible allergies and all sorts of issues with that. So it doesn't really bother me because I've I'm so used to it in myself. Uh, I'm a very mucusy person, so yeah, I I would feel weird judging somebody else for being all mucus stuff. But even if I feel weird, it doesn't mean that I can't feel uh, grossed out by it. I I am still capable of feeling grossed out by it. I'm just not. It would bother me to be in a science class and see a human hand preserved in a jar. Nah, nah, that wouldn't bother me. I think if you frame anything in a educational context, uh, you can get away with a lot more in my brain. It like tricks my brain into thinking something is a little more normal than it actually is. I, ne I never let a part of, yeah. I never let any part of my body touch the toilet seat in public restrooms. Um, that's interesting. Um, I try to avoid it if I can. I will, when I'm at school or whatever, I will make sure I know which toilet is used the least. Uh, I, where there's like no traffic and I can get to a toilet that hasn't been like used at all that day. Um, I'm always conscious of that when I'm somewhere with a lot of bathrooms. So I guess I'll say uh, I slightly agree. I slightly, that, that might slightly describe me. It, it depends on the circumstances surrounding the toilet. Even if I was hungry, I would not drink a bowl of my favorite soup if it had been stirred by a, a, a used but thoroughly washed fly swatter. It, I know it's thoroughly washed. That, um, okay. Um, I don't think this... I mean, if I know it's washed, I don't care. <laughs> whatever, man. Use whatever utensil you want as long as it's clean. Uh, I guess the idea of it being a fly swatter might weird some people out. It, it doesn't for me. It would bother me to see a rat run across my path in a park. No, I, I, I love little creatures. I, I would love to see a rat. <laughs> um, so that does not describe me very well. I get excited anytime I see any little creature cross my path, even if it is a rat. I might be willing to try eating monkey meat under some circumstances. Um, I've always had like this image of like me one day as an older person uh, going to foreign lands and trying the weird customs they have. Um, I'd be reluctant. But... I, I'm going to leave a little bit of room. I don't think I would, but I'll leave a little bit of room, to, like maybe. Uh, who knows? I, I don't want to say never, because uh, I, I don't know about that one. Seeing a cockroach in someone else's house doesn't bother me. I don't know. I've not encountered a lot of cockroaches in my life. There's There's like, I've never ha seen a cockroach in my own house. Uh, I guess I'm fortunate in that case. Um, would it bother me? I don't know. I, I don't even want to kill bugs when I find them in my room. So I, I'd probably be like, whatever. It's it's mine. If it's mine and it's business, I'll, I'll, I'll leave it alone. Um, doesn't bother me. I guess that does describe me pretty well. Leave it alone, man. I mean, it's your house. Do what you want with it. But I I wouldn't care. I would go out of my way to avoid walking through a graveyard. Uh, nah, whatever. I don't. I don't really believe in ghosts or anything. I'm. I'm not personally superstitious at all. Um, how? How? Really? How much creepy stuff actually goes down in a graveyard? Maybe a little bit of stuff every once in a while. Uh, in some 
select places. Maybe you'll see some creepy stuff going down in a graveyard, but most of it's just it's a pretty quiet place. Gets you off the road a little bit. Uh, you see maggots on a piece of meat in an outdoor garbage pail. Um, that's a little gross. Maggots are pretty gross. That That is one of those cases where we all have some exceptions and maggots are a little gross. You take a sip of soda and then you realize you drank from a glass that an acquaintance of yours had been drinking from. Um, I'm not really disgusted. Uh, it, it would take a, a pretty disgusting mouth for me to be disgusted by that. For me to be like, oh, they, they don't brush their teeth or whatever, and I just drank their backwash. Uh, but generally, eh, whatever. Stuff happens. Uh, you discover that your friend uh, that a friend of yours changes underwear only once a week. Um, if I didn't notice beforehand, and I only learned, like, verbally, <laughs> um, whatever, I guess, as far as I'm concerned, uh, it, maybe, maybe you're just not a very sweaty person, maybe you just don't get as gross as quickly as me. I'm, I'm, I, uh... <laughs> I am a greasy dude. I I can't go more than a day without a shower or I start to get a little gross. So if I'm not changing my underwear, there's a problem. I, I don't know about other people. Everybody's different. I'm just going to stay neutral on that one. While you are walking through a tunnel under a railroad track, you smell urine. Um, hmm. I mean, I'm not that surprised. Uh, eh, it's whatever, you know? It's like, I, I can go by a tree that somebody's recently urinated on and not really think twice about it. That's whatever. Um, there, there are grosser things out there than urine. Uh, there are plenty grosser. A friend offers you a piece of chocolate shaped like dog do. Um, I don't really care. It's, it's chocolate, man. Just don't give me, like, dark chocolate. I like, I like my chocolate milky uh you see someone put ketchup on vanilla ice cream and eat it dude i i don't care man Th these are li little things like i i don't if you have weird food combinations that's never gonna phase me that's almost never gonna phase me it would take something really bad to bug me on that that's like it's a that's spongebob's little ice cream thing no he didn't actually have ice cream in that episode never mind but yeah, that's never going to bother me. You see a man with his intestines exposed after an accident. Okay, that might be a little much. Uh, the touching a dead body was one thing, but that's uh, a bit very gruesome. I, I think I'd be uh, a little disturbed by that. More than a little disturbed. Uh, you see a person eating an apple with a fork and knife. Um, I'd be confused, not disgusted. I'd like it. It's a, it's a strange way of doing it, but also like I've eaten pizza with a fork and knife before because I didn't want to get my hands messy, uh, on, on plenty of occasions. So like, I get it. I get it there. We all have something we do. That's a little weird. Or I would assume, uh, you are walking barefoot on concrete and you step on an earthworm. Oh, I'd feel, I'd get sad, probably. Um, I don't want to step on a, the poor little worm. Um, I wouldn't be disgusted. I, I'd just be slightly unhappy. As a part of sex education class, you are required to inflate a new unlubricated condom using your mouth. So it's unlubricated. I don't, whatever, man. <laughs> like, as it, it, that's just a balloon at that point it's just a latex balloon whatever man uh your friend's pet cat dies and you have to pick up the dead body with your bare hands it's not a disgust thing I, disgust isn't the word i would use for that i i'd be troubled by it but disgust is not it so i i would say uh no i wouldn't be disgusted by that at all i'd just be I'd be troubled though. I, I think I think it's a different sort of feeling I'm getting there. 
You are about to drink a glass of milk when you uh, you smell that it is spoiled. Okay. Hmm. I'm not easily grossed out by that sort of thing. I I think I'd be a little neutral about that. I'd just be like, oh, spoiled, whatever. Hmm. I, I wouldn't be like, Ugh, I wouldn't recoil at it. Uh, but I also wouldn't be very excited about it. So I think neutral is a fair place to be on that. You accidentally touched the ashes of a person who has been cremated. Oh, I'd just be embarrassed. Um, uh, I... I wouldn't be disgusted. I'd be like, oh, no, I'd, because there's only so much of that. I don't want to, like, get it. I'm going to end up having to wash some of this person's remains down the drain when I clean my hands. I, I just feel weird about that. It, it's, not, it's not gross, I don't think. Oh, that's it? Okay. Uh, I get, I'm excited to see how this, how my answer is compared to others. Um okay your average uh disgust judgment was three out of five okay the red line represents your score okay that that's that's not all that weird what's it what is it by gender eh, it's a it's a little bit different but eh, and religion oh god um they're very different graphs we have here. Okay. Um, want to find out how you score on other tests? Return to the uh, MST to participate in another study. I think I want to. Um, I might do that in future weeks. Okay. So that's where I'm at. Uh, if you guys want to take the test, I hope you took it before watching me take it. I probably should always say that at the beginning. It's usually best to take these things before you've seen somebody else do it because seeing somebody else rationalize their decision could taint your uh, more natural inclination i don't feel too weird about this one this is this is fine um i hope you guys enjoyed this video um it, it was all right i think there are some better questions for me to take on the discuss thing was kind of like a very simple one to ease myself in there were there were a lot of uh of topics there that looked kind of enticing so I'm, I'm excited to check out more of this in the following weeks maybe maybe a little later on who knows what i'm gonna come up with next week i might i might come up with something else uh so thank you guys for watching i will see you guys next time